So M4 will start in a few weeks. There is an update on the venue. So originally the group stage will be at XO Hall, the MPLID Arena. But due to XO Hall caught on fire on the 5th of December, they have to move it. Don't worry, no one got hurt and the cause of the fire is believed to have been an electrical short circuit. So the group stage have been moved to Bali United Studio. Not only Moontoon changed the group stage venue, they also changed the playoff venue. Originally, the playoff venue is at Istora Stadium, Istora Senayan Stadium. Now, it has been moved to Tennis Indo Stadium Senayan. What's the difference? Well, Istora Stadium Senayan have a capacity of 15,000, which means the stadium can fit 15,000 people, where the Tennis Indo Stadium Senayan have like 4,000 capacity. So it is a downgrade, a big downgrade. So why they change the location? I don't know. Is the tickets not selling? I don't think so because what I saw, the grand final tickets have been sold out. So is it too expensive to rent out the Istora Stadium for 10 days? Maybe. Or maybe something happened that we don't know. Maybe Muntun have booked at Istora Stadium Senayan for the 1st of January until the 14th of January, they have booked it. But some other events, maybe some of the tournaments have paid more to get that dates. Maybe that happened, we don't know. So MPLID Season 4 playoff venue was at the Tennis Indo Stadium Senayan, where EVOS Legends won the championship and then won the M1 World Championship. And now we have come back for M4 World Championship. Either way, hopefully it will sell out. I think so. And it will have a beautiful stage. So yeah. So in the last video, I have talked about RRQ Russia over in Russia. There is a tournament and in that tournament, there is a team called RRQ Russia. So a lot of you guys point out that I miss a team in last victory which is echo echo is from mpl ph and right now there is echo in brazil which playing in the last victory tournament the only player name that i recognize is luna ombota if you guys don't know luna ombota he played for red canids in m2 he won mpl brazil season one Liga Latam season one not only that, also a DreamMax player is in the team. I don't know who is upgrade. So yeah, I don't know whether this is actually Echo branching out to Brazil or they just use it for fun. Well, either way, best of luck to them in the tournament. Eu tô confundindo o herói aqui, que é coisa de absurdo. Olha, o vou pra ele, tá no teammate, prendeu a parede, na parede! O teammate aí do Grok dando aquele controle, já vem um Guz ali, tacando aquelas adagas, eliminação na mão. O chegando por aqui agora, vem aí o Grok tentando fazer a front, hein? Vem sendo focado nos jogadores aqui, oh my god! Chega pela back and forth, garantiu o abate, mas agora o show vai atrapalhando a vida dela. Mesmo assim, o Guz garante o abate em cima do Martz lá embaixo da torre. Olha, o Kuku vai sendo focado por aqui ali, ele consegue a em cima da farsa. Mesmo assim, vem ali o Guz garantindo a boquinha, temos a Oon final. É complicado, vem ali o Grok agora tentando iniciação ali pra cima da linha. Foi obrigado a cancelar o ultimate pra poder sair do dano, mas olha a farsa uh, que ela vem fazendo aí nesse, nessa teamfight. Garante o Guz ali o seu double kill, mas aí o Grok acabou sendo eliminado. Ficou pra trás aí o menino Kufra, garantindo agora visão. Ou o Kufra, uh, 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 hein? Prendeu aí todo mundo na parede, mas falta dano da equipe da Shiros. Uh, Vai tendo não, focado, não, já temos um abate em cima do Marte. Vai ser focado, temos aí mais um abate em cima do Kufra. Já temos três abates nesse confronto. Ali é obrigado a usar o ultimate pra não ser abatida. Tenta sobreviver a equipe da Shiros. Olha o ultimate da Farsa. Já temos aí double kill pra ela. Já vem garantido também. Já vem focando por aqui pra estar tá garantido seu triple kill. Mas o Guzio garantiu o abate e focou o Nexus e tá lá. Also in the news, Paulo Expert. Paulo Expert have joined Bigatron Esports. Paulo is from Brand Esports. If you want to dig more, Paulo Expert is from Gosu, I believe. In M1, he played for Gosu and then he moved to the Philippines. He coached for amateur team in Philippines, I believe, and then he moved to Brand Esports. And then now he have moved to Indonesia to coach for Bigatron Alpha. So yeah, good luck to him. So rumor has it, 
Psycho is moving to Alter Ego. Psycho said that his contract with RRQ is done for next season. So he is searching for a new team. Whether he will rejoin RRQ or he will join other teams. He said that he still wants to play as a pro player. His dream is to win the M series. So in a live stream, Alter Ego Pai accidentally said that Psycho is at the Alter Ego gaming house. He forgot that he is on live stream. So now everyone knows that Psycho is at Alter Ego gaming house. Is it true or not? We have to wait and see. So what do you guys think? Psycho in Alter Ego? Maybe Psycho can play with his former teammate Udil. So yeah. <laughs> Oh iya bang bulu no live co. Wah rusak nih game. Also in the news next year we not only gonna get ISF and the M series as the World Championship title tournament. So we are going to have another World Title Event tournament, the World Cyber Games. There's going to be four games, four category. Valorant, Clash Royale, Hearthstone, and Mobile Legends. There's going to be open tournaments and then the organization is going to select teams to play in the open qualifiers. After that, there's going to be group stage. After the group stage, there's going to be the grand finals. Similar like the Snapdragon ESL tournament. So these open tournaments will happen from January to April 2023 and it will lead to open qualifiers in May 2023. From here, the top teams will advance to the group stage in June. Lastly, the best of the best will make it to the grand finals. The grand finals will take place in July and it will be a LAN event offline. However, the venue hasn't been revealed yet. So it will be in July. I'm afraid that it's going to clash with MSC and SEA Games. So I don't think a lot of pro teams like MPL ID teams, MPL teams will join. Maybe amateur team or semi pro teams will join this tournament. So what do you guys think? Well, that's all for the news. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Stay safe.